Why I feel that people, because you're the one that's paying half a million dollars already. No problem. You want to spend, spend. I don't have to pay for this craziness. I'm sorry. So be very wise not to spend the money that you have. If you have money, credit card, ladies, is not free money. I know ladies think that credit card is something that you can do it again. <laughs> but it costs 18 to 26% return every year. Meaning, <coughs> I will make it simple. If you, have, if you spend $10,000, you have to pay at the end of the year another $1,800, another $2,000 extra. If you spend $20,000, you have to pay $3,500, <coughs> meaning $350 extra every month. So our parents had this method. Only in our generation, we leave off credit. Our parents, they had money, they spent. They had no money, they didn't spend. This is the method and the attitude of our parents. Today, nobody needs money. Nobody even carry money. Everything is credit card. I mean, a lot of respect to these ideas. It's a brilliant idea. But at the same time, somebody make a lot of money on you. So just be very careful not to bring the situation to be intense. Because in order to have love and respect in the house, you have to know the rule. And the rule is you need to be, you need to have Moshe, <coughs> how do you do it? Menuchat <coughs> Menuchat Anefesh meaning you don't have to go to yoga classes. Today I'm going to teach you with one advice, and it's not easy, how to get to peace of mind. Business put us in pressure. Children put us in pressure. <coughs> Health put us in pressure. Stuck put us in pressure. Uh, what else? Life. Life <coughs> put us in pressure. How, Rabbi, what's the secret? You can go to yoga all day long. In that one hour that you're going to do, oh, you're going to be relaxed. Hour later, you're going to get cooked. Mm. It doesn't help. So what exactly we have to do in order to have Menuchat Nefesh? Because the most important items in our life is to have peace of mind. And Hebrew, repeat after me, Menuchat Nefesh. When your soul is relaxed. Not when the body is relaxed. Sleeping 8 hours or 10 hours or 12 hours will not help you to get peace of mind. Yes, you're going to be a little more relaxed. But if you worry, if you have anxiety attack, sleeping is not going to help you. Mm -hmm. So what do you need to know in order to have Menuchat Nefesh? And the only way to have Shalom Bait, the only way to have <coughs> healthy marriage, the only way to have healthy life is to have peace of mind. Gabriel, what does the person need to have in order to have peace of mind? Listen to this. Yaakov Avinu, this week parasha, introduced Yaakov Avinu coming back to Egypt and he's going to meet his own, his own son. He didn't see his son for how many years? 23 years. Do you know what it means not to see your own child? Ladies, if I'm going to ask you if your child will go to Israel for one year, all day long on the phones, you're going to travel two, twice in that year to Israel just to see him. And you're going to call him back for one year. And when he's going to return in the airport, balloons, you're waiting for him with tears, with tears, with emotion. One year. 23 years. What's the first word that they're going to be saying after he did Shema Israel? What's the first word? You know what he said? Amuta apam. Achare raiti reuti et panecha. Now I can die. Now that I see you, I can go in peace. I can rest in peace on him. That's what Yaakov said, God forbid. Emmanuel, is any logic? I mean, what's the question that you can ask me? Danny, what's the question you can ask me? Ask me the questions. What's the question that's coming right away in your mind when you hear that? Yaakov Avinu is seeing his own child after 23 years. What did he say? Now I can die. What's the question? The question. Why die now? Not to spend time. To spend time. Why do you want to die now? I don't know who is your husband. And your husband is a lucky man. No doubt, your husband is a lucky man. May God will give you and your husband a long and healthy and a happy life. Amen. Shari Ura. Shari Bracha. Shari Parnasa. Shari Shalom Bay. Shari Nujan Kanuzi. 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 Sh
שערי בשורות דומות, שערי שמות, שערי ראש הראש של היחידים, שערי תורה, שערי קדושה. לכן יהיה לטוב ונאמר אמן. אמן. I just lost 23 years of my life. Now is the time to live longer. Please, God, can you make my life much longer? At least a couple of years. 175 years. Or even it's hard, 180 years. God, give me a long life. What is this that now I can die? Everybody battle with these questions. Listen to the answer. And the answer is brilliant answer. A beautiful method to our life. When I was saying, listen to this. You know why Yaakov Avinu said, now I can die? Oh, Until then, he was afraid <coughs> to die. Because he was afraid to go to Gehenna. Why that Yaakov would be afraid to go to Gehenna? Put in Tefillin, keep in Kashrut. <coughs> Our father Yaakov study all day long Torah. The most righteous. Why Yaakov Avinu? You know why? Because for 23 years, he was sad. Depression, no, you can right. be as religious that you can be. If you have depression issue, if you are sad and upset all day long, even if the reason <coughs> is the right reason, even if the reason is right, somebody embarrass you, somebody put post against you, somebody literally stole from you money <coughs> and it doesn't pay you. And I'm not talking about small money. $50,000, the only money that you save after two years, you give it to your friend for two months. Two months. And you know how the friend is, Chudachat, I will pay you back. When our community tell you Chudachat, you can do Kaddish to the money. Chudachat doesn't mean I'm going to pay you. Chudachat meaning with God's help, it's going to take 20 years until I'm going to pay you. Now, you give it the money for two months, it doesn't pay you. You're all, the only money that you have. Can you be happy in this moment? Let's be honest. Yaakov Avinu was not sad for no reason. He was sad because his own child the child that is, he loved so much disappeared for 23 years, three years. He's no body to bury. He's no grief to cry. At least when you have a grief, you're coming in and you're crying. He's no grief and no body. How do you want him to be happy? You know what exactly happened in these 23 years? The word Amonai. In the last three weeks, Parashiot. For three weeks, the name of God doesn't mention in the weekly parasha. Because if you are upset, I have nothing to do with you. God have nothing to do with the person that is said. You know what brings happiness? <coughs> you know what brings Shekhinah? You know what, what brings happiness? When people sit down and meal, and they eat, and they sing, and they create happiness, happiness <coughs> brings the presence of God. Now that he was happy, now that he came back, and he saw Yosef, he said, now I can rest in peace. Now I know I'm going to Canada. Yes, indeed. I was keeping Shabbat, keeping Kashrut, went to the Mikva 80 times, having Kabbalistics come along, like this, praying up an hour, every day for it's all good. Wake up in the nets to have Shiru Torah, it's all nice. But if you are sad and upset, God, I'm nothing to do with you. The only way to get to Gan Eden, the only way to get to Olam Abba, is if you're happy. Menuchat and Nefesh. So how do you get Menuchat and Nefesh? You know how you get Menuchat and Nefesh? Having a faith <coughs> in the Almighty God. Emuna and Bitachon. When you have faith and trust that nothing happened to you, happened for you. And everything that happened in your life is for your benefit. And it's if you, for your good. And God will never do anything bad to hurt you. God is your father. So the guy that took your money, you actually have to call them and say thank you very much. I don't know why, maybe I was supposed to die and because you took the money, God extend my years another 50 or 100 years from now. So because of this 50,000, I'm going to have an, a long life. Maybe this 50,000 will come in the right moment. And when I need it, and then I'm going to open business that I'm going to become a millionaire. Maybe, who knows what? But nothing bad happened. And you, you are Yaakov Avinu. You are our father. You are upset over the loss of yourself. What do you feel that God is making mistakes? I don't understand. Yosef and Sadiq went down. The only person that was supposed to be upset is Yosef. His own brother tried to kill him. They threw him into the pit. They sold him to Arabs. He's going into Egypt and being honest and faithful. He's not cheating and his boss wife. What's the thank you? 
They send him to the jail for 13 years. 13 years in the jail, unreal. And he's sitting down in, in, in the jail. <coughs> what exactly, Yosef? He see two Arabs, depressed. He come to them and said, why are you depressed? Can I help you in anything? They looked at him and said, this guy is not real. You are the only Jew in this jail. And you asking us why we depressed? You are here for no reason. Why are you not depressed? How? What's the secret? Yosef said, what did Yosef say in the brothers? Lo atem mechartem oti. Lo atem shalachtem oti ena. My dear brothers, do you know why I'm not upset with you? Do you know why I don't want to revenge? Because I know the secret of life and the secret is you didn't send me here. You didn't try. It was only a plan of God for me to come here and to become the most powerful Jew in the world history. Just Joseph had the patience to wait and to see the hand of God. Most of us have zero patience. We lost a little money, we get cuckoo. Rabbi, why bad things happen to good people? I buy Nara, I have Nara. Rabbi, can you make rashes? Can you find me a tzaddik to bless me with this? No, no, God is wrong. God is wrong. It cannot happen to me. It cannot. I'm a good man. I'm keeping Shabbat. I'm doing this. What is it? You serve a tzaddik also. You serve a tzaddik. You serve a tzaddik. He's much greater from you guys. No offense. He's the only one in the Torah that's called tzaddik. No one can you serve. Two people only. And he's the tzaddik. And he never said, God, why are you doing bad? It's that bad things happen to good people. Why he? Why that? He never had him. What you said, he said, smiling all day long. <laughs> and singing song of Emuna. He knew you the Aya Yodea. Kama Hashuva Emuna. If a Jew youth just know how important it is to have a faith, he will sing all day long. He will sing to Hashem and bless Hashem for every obstacle that he has. Then you will never have any. I went one time to the <coughs> hospital, if you remember, three years ago, and something good happened. I mean, I'm waking up, not so well yet. Hopefully, God will not need to wake me once again. But I went to the hospital. <coughs> Twice happened to me. Twice. One time when my father lost his own eyes. My father, before, before, a few years before he passed away, my father had a very, very strong diabetes. And having diabetes, you know, the two places of the body, the doctor is here, the two places of the body that diabetes touch right away is the legs and the eyes. Maybe one day you can explain why these two, two, two uh, uh, organs in the body. You're losing vision and you put your legs in danger to be, you know, running. Now, my father lost both of them. 90% of one legs and he become blind. Uh, one eye is completely, the other eye was uh, balagan. But one eye Now, to talk about the father is always emotional. <laughs> <laughs> so I went in and I was at that time, I was a rabbi in the same community. And then uh, I started to search for a doctor. One of my students is the owner of the place. Happened to be that this kudo, the kudo of the owner of the children place, is uh, one of the best eyes doctor in the United States. He's in New Jersey, he had a huge office, and he's an eyes doctor. And he was another Syrian, Syrian Jew, Syrian doctor, that was uh, also pretty good in Brooklyn, in Coney Island. And I went over there. The guy told me, bring your father here. One condition, take him into Bar Ilan. Bar Ilan is the biggest university in Israel, very well known. Take him into Bar Ilan. I have a friend over there. He's also eye doctor. He's going to tell them to make checkup in your father. If he said that we can fix it, bring him over, we're going to fix it. <laughs> money went organized, the, the community said, Rabbi, any money. 25, 50, whatever, you know, they say, and they know how to give it. I said, Rabbi, any money you want, the money is covered. Bring your father, the surgery, <coughs> nothing is included in the in in insurance, because no insurance. Is that even American? They said, we cover everything. Okay. I brought my father. I told the doctor, you have open check. You write the price. If you fix the eyes of my father, any, any price you want. You <coughs> said, Rabbi, you're pretty generous. I said, yes, my community, give me approval, don't worry. <laughs> open check, open check. Get wide. Yeah, no. After that, you go to a vacation with your wife. One month of vacation, don't worry. On my account. I said, okay. I brought my father here. He checked him. He needed my father to come here. One, the second condition, he went over there. He made the checkup in bar -Ilan. The second condition is for three months. Two weeks to make the surgery. And two and a half months to stay, to stay, to make sure that the eyes is working. Dante, <coughs> my father came here. And then he went into the, so to the surgery. He checked him. When he checked him, he said, you still may have a problem. 
The eyes is there. No way that you can touch it. I went into the kudo, the uh, whatever the kudo of the owner. I said, Rabbi, the eyes is there. Who told you to bring him here? Now my father had a ticket for three months. So he had to stay here for three months. He got stuck. No soldier, no nothing. My father went in from Israel telling all his friends, no, kill him, kill him. I'm going in, I'm going to come to see him. I'm going to have a vision, I'm going to have... You know, in his age, 75 years old. He uh, was 70 years old at that time. He's a bit disappointed to come back. Yeah. With the same, you know what the embarrassment is that? Mm. I was very, very upset with the doctor. Mm. Everybody knew me for 10 years. It's very rare to see me upset. I was very upset. Wow, disappointed, upset, don't ask. I remember wow, <coughs> I was few months after that I was fuming. I said, wow, why? Why did he have to bring my father? Two years later when my father passed away. Every year in Russian and Kippur, I'm calling to the doctor to say thank you. One time I even came to him and gave him a gift. I said, Doctor, he said, Come back and why are you so nice to me? I disappointed you so bad. I saw in your face that you're a... I didn't talk when I'm upset capability. I'm not talking. By the way, it's a good tip for Shalomite. When your wife is making cocoa. <laughs> don't talk, that's it. Don't say things that after that you're going to regret for the next 20 years. Just don't talk, be quiet. And you, and you know what's funny? When, you, when you're quiet, your wife is upset with you. Why are you quiet? Why are you doing this man? <laughs> say thank you, is quiet. <laughs> Every woman have the same nonsense. Why are you screaming? Now, when you answer it, you see. Why are you answering? Why are you? So, what do you want me to do? You want me to answer or you want me to be quiet? When I'm getting upset, very rare. You know, you know, you know that? I'm quiet. I'm not talking. I'm not talking completely. Now I spoke. I was quiet. He said, I saw that you... I said, Doctor, you don't understand. The only... In that time, my father saw my eyes, and we spent with them times together. The only time that I saw my father <coughs> for almost 15 or 18 years, when he was healthy, so to speak, and I spent time with him, it was in this three months. Mm. After that, I saw him in the hospital. And from the time that I went to the hospital and feel I died, was in the hospital. Eight months with the sickness, chemo treatment, and then the diabetes and panagam. But the only time that I saw him normal and I spent time and we spoke and I was after being stuck here for 14 years because of immigration paper. I, I didn't see my parents for 14 years. You don't understand. This doctor made me such a favor. I told him thank you. But what's the problem? We don't have patience. We don't have patience. Why bad things have to be good people? Why is it my father? After that, you realize, wow, it was the best thing that this doctor did. Because of him, I enjoyed, you don't understand. You just have to have patience in life. Yaakov, why are you upset? Why are you upset? What do you thought? You thought that God is wrong? You thought that you son disappeared for no reason? That God will ever let you down? Yosef is happy. He's happy. What a depth. What a message. The second story. I went in with my legs. Anyone here remember? I had issue with my legs. Uh, one time I went in and they took the nails, whatever, I'm not gonna get to details, we already know the story. I will make it short. But I went to the hospital. And I didn't understand why my legs become big and not any. And then in the hospital they told me, Rabbi Vaklin, the sugar is not high, sky high. <laughs> <laughs> it's ballistic high. Diabetes, Houston, you have a problem. <coughs> I said, thank God I came to the hospital. Because not for no reason they call diabetes sign and death. They have a debate among doctors which sickness is the worst. The sickness, the sickness that we don't mention the names, chemo treatment, and catering, strong catering, or diabetes. By the way, most <coughs> of the doctors claim that diabetes is much worse. You know why? Because until, until you figure out that you have diabetes, it's too late. See, usually the sickness, most of the people, or a little bit of that, we will, that you will never have none of them, you realize that in the first stage. Most of the people, diabetes, they call it the silent death. It's in your body and you don't feel nothing. <coughs> and you eat Ospelon, or Sevo, or Hatu Sevo, Balagan. You eat, you eat food processes, food processes. You eat and you're smiling and ice cream and cakes and Baruch Hashem. And you don't need that. And you can sit and you can walk. And then one day you wake up. Because of this doctor that made the damage to my nails, I realized that I have to be careful because of diabetes. I called the doctors and I told them, thank you for making me all this balagan. He made huge balagan in my life. Huge balagan. 
and because of his mistakes. From a good heart, by the way, from a good attention. He came really, he's one of the community. He came from a good attention. He wanted to do to the rabbi a favor. And, and I told him, you really made me a favor. Because now I put something, I checked my sugar. I'm always under, I'm trying to be. Again, I have to get much better. Now. My wife said, you have to get much better. I see you at 2 o'clock in the morning. I see you at 2 o'clock. Study in another ice cream, another cake. I see you. You know, I remember every time I see my wife, I remember Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur is alive. Somebody is watching. Somebody is watching. The Almighty God, I am the one, Rosh Hashanah. The eyes is always open. She put camera all over the house. I'm trying to get. She's calling me. I can see you in camera number three. <laughs> Please, let me, let my people go, let me leave, please. If this is so, having a menuchat nefesh, what do you need to have? Peace of mind. And how do you get peace of mind? Faith. Faith in God. And when you are having a faith, you will never get upset in the business. You will never get upset if the deal didn't work out. You will never get upset because the stack went down or the stack went up. You will never get upset with nothing. <coughs> because everything that happened in your life, something good is coming out from it. Just have a little patience. It's yet If this is so, we're going to move into the second message. And the second message, the first message is having a faith. And the faith is the most important. The second message is, gentlemen, ladies, the most important things in a relationship is to remember. Akarat atuv. Appreciation. Appreciation is the second message of tonight. How many of us, after hearing me so many times, tell your wife or your husband thank you. every day thank you for the food that you just made? Every day and night you come in here, Moshe is still newlywed, newlywed. They still say thank you in this year. And they see, they're still romantic, they still say thank you. They still open the door, they still send flowers. The four years, don't be judged now, I'm not going to judge you now. Let's see, five years from now, how are you going to talk? Now you see, that you're going to say the same. You're a good man, Moshe, you're a good man. Your heart is pure, and you... Mazan, I met you had a Mazan. You had a Mazan to take Mazan, and she had a Mazan. I said, Mazan, I approve this message. Sponsor by Rabbi Rabbi. Moshe is a good man, he's a good man, no doubt. But Abadanov, you know what we need? You know what we need? To say loud and clear thank you. Thank you for the things <coughs> that I said. I don't take lightly this class. Okay, every week, Baruch Hashem, B'day and Arai's world is a full house. I still don't take it lightly. How did I start every week? Thank you very much for finding the times, <coughs> the effort and the money to find one hour to come to this show. You really extend my life until 120 one week at a time. Unreal. How many of us, when, when, a wife, when a wife one time doesn't cook? You see, I told you this story many times. It was a professor that came into a class and he said to them, I'm going to ask you a simple question. What's the questions? He put like this. What's the questions? He gave one of them a paper and he asked them, what do you see? One question. This is the test. What do you see in this paper? <coughs> one of them said, what? He's giving. What do you see? A black dot. A black dot. Everybody wrote in the test, black dot. A hundred percent. Twenty-five students, twenty-five the same answer. So the doctor said, I don't understand. This paper is 99% white. And suddenly all of you saw the one percent of black. How many times in life we all the same? Your wife giving you uh, dinner every night for the next five years or ten years, one time she miss? Why? Why? Crisis in the house. Never happened in Bukhara. In Bukhara, against tradition. Why you miss? What kind of wife? I don't understand. 99% of the times, you're getting your dinner. The house is clean. The children is, is dressed. Everything is perfect. 99% of the time, your husband come in time. He always behave. One time he can leave. And crisis in the house. <coughs> Maybe we all have to go up a little bit with the fact of appreciation, akarat atom, to recognize the good things that happen in our life with our children, with our worker, the people that are working for us, in our business, with our partners, and especially with our spouse, our husband and wife. 
Gentlemen, how many times you want to you thank you for paying the rent, paying the tuition, paying the food, and working so hard? For how many times? All the time. So, in your case, Baruch Hashem. Again, mm -hmm. anyway. All, all of them have the same answer. Mechilat that I have to mention it, but when you're newly married, we always resume it like this. Thank you, my husband, for working so hard. You're so great. I can feel your pain. And after one year, why is it? Why, if you miss one salary, Balagan, how come there's no money? I always knew I got stuck. I, they, they told me before I got married, he's a loser. He's a lazy boy. They told me that this guy have a bad matter. What exactly happened? So if I can provide you with everything that you need, what exactly changed? Nothing changed. We got used to it. We got used to the good things. The second message, maybe this week, each one of us, it is a time for us to wake up. It's a time for all of us to wake up and to say thank you. Thank you for each other. It's a time for you that you're going to leave this class and say, my wife, not only I love you, I really value everything that you do in my life. Bemet, thank you for who, being who you are. Thank you for the fact that you raised our children. Thank you very much for always being there for me. Thank you very much for having the house ready and the food and preparation. And it's the time for you to tell your husband, thank you. Thank you for everything that your husband. Why are we so cheap in appreciation? Rebuke? And fix it? How many times ladies during the day you tell your husband where is home? You forgot the key. You don't put the shoes here. Why are you doing here? Why here? Why you didn't put the plate? Why? Maybe 20 to 25 times minimum every day. If you're going to have a tape, record, when you're coming into the house, you're going to see that minimum 25 comments, and all of them is bad. What you have to fix? What you have to fix? Minimum 25. How many things? In a good case, maybe one. In a good case, maybe one. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the time for all of us to have appreciation, to recognize. Because al kol peshayim techasei ava. You know what's mean al kol peshayim techasei ava? Al kol peshayim techasei ava mean for every obstacle in life, love will cover. You know who said? The wisest man in the world is King Solomon. King Solomon. King Solomon said, when you want to kill bad moment in life, you, you know what you have to do? Thank you. Show love. Show appreciation. You don't have to tell your husband what to fix himself. Just tell him how great he is. And he's going to fix himself by himself. You don't have to help him. Just give him a beautiful comment. Give your wife a beautiful comment. And you're going to get anything that you want. Know how to recognize. <coughs> know how to have appreciation. Alkol kishayim techase ava. For if this is so, we're going to move to the last one. What do we see? What do we see? What do we see? What do we see appreciation? You see, Adam Arishon, Adam Arishon, the first comment that he made was what? Blaming the wife. I don't understand. God gave you a gift, and the first thing that he did is what? Blaming the wife. Some men, they still continue with, they still continue with this tradition. When I told him, why you always blame the wife? Because Adam. Adam starts. Adam starts. We have to follow our tradition. <laughs> this is our tradition. Adam made mistakes. The first thing that he did, blaming the wife. What's the second thing he did? How did he call the wife? What's the name of our woman? What's the way? What's the name of the first woman in the world? Chava. Do you know why they call her Chava? M. Kol. <coughs> she is the mother of all creation. After this woman gave you to eat, and because of that, you are dead. This is what you call in your wife. Adam Arishon study. Said, you know what was my, my mistakes? That I caught to sex my wife. How do you fix it? I will give her such a compliment that she will never even imagine. He gave her a name and he said, you are the mother of all creation. You know what a compliment is that? Suddenly, Adam Arishon is doing Teshuvah. And the Teshuvah is to give compliment to your wife. To give compliment to your husband. Because only to compliment our relationship can work. Last but not least, with this I'm going to conclude. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask you one question. This is going to be the last question of tonight. Who is the first creation in this world? Adam, right? Who is the first human being that was created? Emmanuel, Adam Arishon, right? That Adam Arishon was perfect? No. Obvious, right? The only creature of God, the only creature that being made by God, 
is Adam. Adam, after that, his wife came apart from the, from the human being. She already came ready from Adam. It was a bones, whatever, side or bones, but it was already exist. And then the children already came from a husband and wife. And then the green children, all of us, we already came from parents. We didn't come direct from God. Adam and Rishon came special and direct from God. And the Pasuk said, they separate to Adot Adam. You know what the Midrash right? You know what the Zohar right? <coughs> Adam Arishon had his own Sefer Torah. God gave him a whole book. This is your book to study. And you are the only one that allowed to read it. Secret book for all the medicine, for everything that you need. You will never become sick. You will never, you're always going to be happy. He had the book, how to manage life. And then, and then. He came in which, which, in which city Adam Arishon came? Which country? What's the name of the country? Gan Eden. All of us is working that after 120 years, we're going to be in a Ganeda. He came to the world in which? Ganeda. The best place, the best human being, the only creature of God. Listen to this, what the Gemara said. Rabbi Bena, he was a rabbi by the name of Rabbi Bena. He was expert, he was expert to check each grave. Meaning Rabbi Shimon Baruchai, Rabbi Akiva, they didn't know. So he came over there and he told them, here bury Rabbi Akiva. The stone that we have in Rabbi Akiva is because of this rabbi. Here bury Rabbi Shimon Bar He came here to Me'arat HaMachpela. You know who's Me'arat HaMachpela? Who bury in Me'arat HaMachpela? Abraham, Yitzchak, Yaakov, and Adam and Chava. And also the wife. Now, he went in and he saw Abraham Avinu. He saw Yitzchak Avinu. He went in and he saw, he's talking to Yaakov Avinu. He came in to see Adam Arishon. Why, why, why? Only the legs, you know, the back of the legs. He came in, he saw the back, you know what the Gemara said? He looked like a side of the sun. You know how big was the, the, the you know how, how big is the sun? Huge, right? Huge. Binyamin, the two legs look like two suns. Huge, monster. Adam Rishon was giant. He was in the size from here to the sun, unreal. Only his legs. And a voice from heaven came, you cannot go inside. Because the image of Adam is like my own image. And nobody can see my image, God said. Wow. The voice came to him and said, no, no, no. You can see Yaakov Avinu, Yaakov Avinu look like Adam. It's okay. But you cannot see Adam. Because Adam is the image of God. Perfect. Complete. <laughs> suddenly, <laughs> suddenly, <laughs> suddenly, the Pasuk said, Lo tov eyota Adam levadu. Eseno eser kenegdu. It's not good for Adam to be alone. He is not good. He is not good because he has no wife. Let's give him a wife. Can you answer me why? Why did Adam Rishon need a wife? Why that suddenly after being so perfect, creature of God, why did he need a wife? Why we need a wife? We know. We are walking by, men, all of us are walking by the guns. The wife is the one that makes us normal. She is the one that fix. She is the one that teach you how to behave, to eat with manners. To speak with manners, <laughs> to walk with manners. You know, she's the one that's making us human beings. What do you think Abraham got married with Tamara? She wants to become human being. He was Balagan, Aram Bayou. And now he got married, Bahu Hashem. You can see, wake up in the morning, six o'clock for Shiru. You're a fine human being. You always come with a suit and papillon, ready with, with feeling. I said, Abraham, what exactly? He said, Rabbi, I got married. I understand why we get married. <laughs> but, Dr. <laughs> Dr. Daniel, why Adam Hashem will need a wife? Why? If this is so, I'm going to tell you, side jokes, mm -hmm. just to make you smile. It was one man, he came into his wife and said, my dear wife, I have to tell you, every time I have crisis in the business, I looked at you. I opened my wallet, and he said, this is your pictures. Why, why she got so excited, she said, wow, what a romantic huh? He said, but I met my wife, my husband, he looked at me every time, he said, yes. Every time I uh, have a crisis in my life, I looked in the pictures. He said, what's the reason? He said, it cannot be worse from this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, it was, a, it was a man that came to the doctor. And the doctor said, Moshe, and Moshe, he said, what? He said, Moshe, and you blood, and your wife blood, it's exactly the same. He said, obvious. After 20 years that she's sucking my blood, definitely we have the same blood. <laughs> now we're going to go back. 
No, just to give you a smile a little. No. Smile, open the mind, open the brain. Some of you agree, you see my wife, the rabbi said, I'm going to put my picture in the new picture in my wallet. <laughs> Gentlemen, ladies, uh, why? Why Adam Arishon need a wife? What's the law? For those. <laughs> I love it. For those, but not for the cooking. I will tell you why you're wrong. You know who used to cook to Adam Arishon? You know who used to cook to him? Angel. Angel used to cook the fastest, the best food. You know what I mean, Angel? Malach Michael, Malach Rafael. All of them sitting down and they serving you. You don't know. The animal used to bend over. They thought that they're talking to God. Shh, everybody's bending. Adam Arishon is walking, everybody's bending. Unreal, perfect. Why perfect need a wife? Because it's easy to be good. If you, you know, everything you have good. It's easy to be good. It's easy to be good. So you need a little difficult? Yeah. Okay. Then, then to show if you can be a better person. Come and tell you what. Over there. Make it better or down. Listen to the answer. If we start with Rabbi Yerucham Emir, we're going to continue. You remember the first topic that we spoke? I will continue with the same method. Listen to what he writes. Very strong word. Very difficult to hear. She'en lecha shechitut g'diyotek g'dona mizeh lekabel velo latvit. Nothing is more corrupt for being a human being that only receive and never give. If you're only receiver, you're a corrupt human being. You're not so-so human being. You're not okay. You're not perfect. You're the worst human being that exists in the world history. If your job is what I'm gaining from this relationship, what is good for me, what exactly, if you are a self-centered human being that only accept to get, you are the worst corrupt human being in the world. You know what's the purpose that you came here? <coughs> Not to receive, to give. Yeah. You know why? I met Adam Rashon, didn't need a wife. God created my wife that from this moment is going to start to be giver. He's going to start, every time your wife needs clothing, you know, and they always need clothing, and it's never end, every wedding, every event, you know. And I love it when your wife said, I have nothing to wear, some so dramatic, like very much you have nothing to wear, 50 different shoes, and 200 dresses, and still nothing to, I, I, I already wear this one. How many times once? That's it. <laughs> this is, they already saw me in the picture with this one. So, Baruch Hashem, you become a giver. You become a giver. You become a giver. You want it. A vacation and this and that. Your, your wife, Baruch Hashem, know how to take. And you have to. And you know, ladies, how did you become a giver? Not only the way that you give your husband. God created children. That now you become a giver. Because you don't sleep at night. And you have to feed them. And you have to change them. And you have to take them to the school. And suddenly you become a giver. The purpose of our life. In order to become a, a perfect you cannot be a receiver. Receiver is not perfect. Not you can that. be a creature of God. Angel can serve you. You can be huge like the sun. You can be tzaddik and perfect. You're far away from being perfect. You are corrupt human being. You know what's perfect? Perfect is the person that gives. Perfect is the person. So the first message was what? Having a faith and trust. Having a faith and trust is the only way to make us menuchat and nefesh. Peace of mind. When you have peace of mind, you can have love and respect. The first message. The second message is gratitude, attitude. It's a time for all of us to make attitude of gratitude. Meaning your attitude is not to complain. Your attitude is to give compliment to your, to your spouse, your husband, or your wife. And the last message, and maybe the most important one, the purpose of our life is to give. And to give and to give. To give charity and to give. I don't need to give charity. I will tell you something. Guys, maybe you're not going to like it. But you know, Rabbi Bachman, always have to be honest. Tell me, tell me. Can I ask you a question? How many times we spend money to open our own Kodesh? To open it. How many times we spend money? Every time we go into the Torah, we spend money, right? Tell me. To buy this opening. Daniel, is the writer of the Rabbanan? This from the Rabbis or from the Bible? Rabbis. Rabbis. Who said Rabbis? Who said from the Bible? To buy that and to enjoy it is from the rabbi. Gentlemen, it's not from the rabbis and not from the Bible. I don't know. It came tradition. People like it and they spend money. There's no logic and no source for it. To, to have on a chat sefer is nice, is holy, but there's no source of doing it. 
Why are you buying the Sephora tour and to take it to the Vima? And people spend unlimited money opening their own. In Yom Kippur, we go in the Mopal Easters. Yeah, opening their own, 3,000. And your wife what asks you, breakfast. You see, the breakfast is too, is too expensive. $15. What do you think? I look like a bank. When you come to the synagogue and you spend money like it's not tomorrow. And you know, you know that the rabbis that ask you for charity all day long, I look like a bank. You feel good. Feel good. <laughs> Rabbi, just make sure to put my name. Put my name. Hey, then I'm thinking 10,000, 20,000. I want to be. And your wife asks you to help your wife is the writer. It's not from the rabbis. To help your wife, to give your wife, is a mitzvah, is a obligation. You have to do the shemichud. You have to feel arizam. You have to go to the mikveh before. You have to, you know why is the writer? Sefer Torah, everybody respect. Respect. We have to buy it, we have to spend money. Your wife, okay. Uh, you, you don't have nobody else. Ask somebody else to help you. Why do you always ask me? If I will ask you to give the Torah, you will never tell me, give it to somebody else? Rabbi, okay, give it only to me. Ay, ay, ay. This is not the writer and not the rabbanan. Pen the right side. Sefer Torah and everything that involves is respect. But there's no source for it. Not from the rabbis and not from the Bible. To respect your wife, to give your wife, is the writer. You fulfilling mitzvah from the writer. Vesimach et ishto. Vehavta lerecha kamocha. Ladies, when you make making a to your husband, don't do it by the way. Don't just cook it. You know, do it with love. You know, you're doing it. I accepted myself. One of the greatest mitzvot in the Bible. And the name of this mitzvah is loving your fellow Jew. And I came here to make a spell to my fellow Jew, my husband. And I will make this mitzvah and the greatest level. <coughs> you hear that? Our purpose is to give. And only when you give, you become perfect. You know why Adam and Rishon need? Because the Gemara said the story that the real Navi was walking and he saw two, two rabbis. One, both of these rabbis was righteous. Chassidim, I mean. Righteous. Have you said righteous in English? Pious? <coughs> Pious. 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 Pious Jews. Pious. Religious. Holy. Kabbalistics. Whatever you want. One of them, the real Navi went to visit and the other one, the real Navi didn't visit. So the Gemara said, why? They are both Havuta. They are both in the same level. Why one of them you visit, one not? Listen to what the Gemara said. Because one of them, every time his walker came, his walker, his walker came. You know, sometimes you have a maid in the house, a lady that coming into the house and preparing food for you. First of all, he ate, and then he told the walker, after I, after you finish, take the leftover. Mm -hmm. And the second one, before he ate, he told the worker, first of all, take food, and whatever left, I will take. And then when I said, oh, wow, he is a giver, I'm coming to see him. He's worthy, but I'm going to come to him. The other rabbi is, he's good, but he's not a giver. Leftover is not a giver. This guy, this rabbi, is a giver? Ay, ay, ay. You know what, right? Listen to this. And dava shadam web you tell me at more. Depending on your right. rules and regulations. Which item in this world you love the most? Question, which items? Mother, Mikhail, which items a person love the most? Himself. All of us. You can tell me, no, I love my children, I love my husband, I love my wife. Yes. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. But who, who you love the most? Yourself. Because of that, the challenge of giving is so difficult. You have to work in yourself to put your side, your ego, you need the side in order to give it to the husband, to give it to the wife. If this is so, now we understand that the greatest, how do we say it? Very soon you're going to have babies. Amen. Hopefully, Be'ezrat Hashem, Tamara and Amram, let us say Amen. amen. This year, Be'ezrat Hashem will have Ben Zachar. Amen. Now, Amram, you know why I said Ben Zachar? Because it's good for my topic. No, it's good for the speech. When you have a Ben Zachar, a baby boy, in the breed, what do you, what, what's the blessing that you give the baby boy? What's the blessing? What's the blessing? Do you know what's the blessing that you give a man? What's the blessing that you give a baby? Keshem shenichnas la brit. The same way that the baby enter brit mila. He will enter Torah. Kach ikanes la Torah. What's Torah? Bar mitzvah. 
אין חורבן, הוא עץ חורבן? וודינג'. אין מעשים טובים, גוד איטס. אני רוצה לשאול אותך שאלה. למה אנחנו מתכוונים לגוד איטס אחרי 20 שנה? אני לא מבין, גוד איטס, 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 גוד It's after his good deed. Only after you get in Mary. Because to do good deed in a synagogue for five minutes and to come to play big shots is easy. But to live with a wife for 24 hours, seven days a week, to live with a husband 365 days and still to live and still to do good, sometimes you don't want to do good. You put this picture in the end and you make it to be or not to be. Because you want to make a mushroom off. If you're going to make a mushroom, you're going to put curry. If you know spices, Let him, let the nose. Why? Because he got you upset. No, 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 no. Good deed is fakir. Do you know what's fakir? Dafka. In focus to your husband and your wife. Just opposite. Only then is considered to be chesed. Chesed is to your husband and wife. And I will end with this one. Ay, ay, ay. We start with faith and trust. We moved in to appreciation. And with us, we end. But understand it, that nothing is more important to be perfect, is by giving. And giving meaning, charity, start at home. Start to give to your own family. Before you come outside and you give. Give to your wife. Give to your husband. Give to your children. Spend time with your children. That means spend time with your parents. They don't want to me to be like me. And like Yaakov, you know, that lost his own child. And his child lost them for 23 years. And only after 23 years, they saw child. You have parents that live here. Spend the time with them. As long as they are alive and healthy, spend time with them. They might call another friend. Abba, I want to spend time with you. Take him to a restaurant. Don't be upset and nonsense. Don't make this ego and this right wrong. I don't care. Don't be sad. Don't be upset. Hashem is running the world. Spend as much time that you can with your children. Enjoy the time for them. Business, not business. Fine on a daily basis. 15, 20, 30 minutes. Even 15 minutes. Guys, I'm not asking you to be tzaddikim. I know you're coming back from home and you're tired. 15 minutes with your child. 15 minutes. You can do it. How many nonsense you're watching in the phones for two or three hours? Take one hour away. I'm not telling you two hours or three hours. One hour away. <coughs> spend time with your children. Go and spend 20 minutes on a daily basis with your wife. <coughs> you and your wife walking around the house and speaking with each other. Build and give and give and give. And the more that you give, the more that you become perfect. Thank you very much.